the Apple iOS update is rolling out and you're probably panicking. What should you do to be able to track your data? Don't you worry, I got you. Follow along and let's go through this together. Okay, now we're in the back end of your WordPress website. I want you to come over, add a new plugin. And I want you to search for pixel your site. And we're going to install this one here. Okay, we're going to activate it. Okay, so you're going to find it over here on the left-hand side of your menu. Okay, so we want to activate the Facebook pixel here. So we're going to go over, click for settings. Next, we're going to hop on over to our Facebook page and grab our pixel ID. So over here, let's grab our pixel ID. Just click on it to copy. I'm going to paste it in here. We're going to tick on the conversions API. Back over to Event Manager, we're going to click Settings. We're going to scroll down, scroll down. Okay, you're going to click on Generate Access Token. We're going to copy this. We're going to put this here. And then we're going to get the test event code. So test events. Here's our code to test. I'm going to pop this in here. And while we're here, we're going to get to verify our domain at the same time. So you're going to come over to business settings. You're going to scroll down to brand safety, domains. Okay, we're going to add the domain. And you need to enter the domain before or after the HTTPS. Here we go. Let's add the domain. And it's going to give us a way to verify. So I want you to copy. So copy this code here. And we're going to pop it in here. Paste. And then we're going to come down to the end. And we're going to save the settings. Next, we're going to verify the domain. So I'm going to verify. And that's done. So our domain is verified. Let's go back to event setup tool. I'm going to go to test events and we're going to send some traffic here. There we go. Everything's working perfectly. Next, what you want to do is come into your overview and you're going to click on aggregated event management. You're going to configure the web events. So this is the important part where you need to decide which is actually the most important um, event that you want to track. So depending on your type of business, will all depend on what is the most important event. So you can see here, like on this website, it just has view content. But for other people, it could be leads, it could be add to cart, it could be an ACA checkout, it could be purchase. So you just need to decide what eight events you want and add them in the order priority. So if I wanted to capture leads, as my number one event, I will select lead. And then we're going to work our way down. I could say, okay, view content is next. Next, I want somebody to be able to contact me. Next, I want somebody who initiates checkout. Um, next, I want somebody who adds to cart. Um, next, I'm going to say I want somebody who completes a registration. Now, this is all going to be in your order of priority. So the highest priority is the lead because I would get I would work on leads a lot. So obviously, that would be what I want to capture. Whereas in your case, if it could be purchase data or if you don't get enough purchases, it could be add to cart because that would be your next level to get more data. So if I just finish this off and let's say purchase because that's the least important and i'm going to click submit yes i confirm and apply the key takeaways here are just having the level 
of your events in order so it's coming down to the end so you need to decide which is your most important and which is your least important you have eight to choose from so use them wisely and pick the right one if you would like to get more tips like this on how to grow your business fast with paid traffic don't forget to hit the subscribe button we'll see you next time